Gun violence is not random. There are certain portions of the population that are disproportionately affected by gun violence, and we have to recognize that there are environments that we've created to make it difficult for these people to not only um, survive these environments, but also thrive in these, in these environments. Uh, we're not just talking about minority disadvantaged populations, we're also talking about women being at higher risk in a partner violence situations and uh, certain portions of the populations that have access to guns when they're in time of crisis that could be harming themselves or others. The mission of the Center on Gun Violence Research at Rutgers is to conduct interdisciplinary research into the causes and consequences of gun violence and create actionable programs and policies that ultimately will result in safe and healthy communities for both New Jersey and across the country. Our research in the Center is very multidisciplinary. We have uh, leadership representing a variety of different disciplines, public health, psychology, social work, trauma medicine, criminology, uh, and by doing all that work together, um, our goal is to really bring a variety of different perspectives from these different disciplines, use different kinds of research methodologies uh, to address and answer different kinds of questions about gun violence. I started in the field of gun violence because I studied childhood violence exposure in urban areas. And I studied how children primarily uh, were coping and adapting to multiple different types of violence. And what I found is that many children were having to adapt to the thought or threat of gun violence in their lives. And for children in particular, it's really hard to make sense out of nonsense which what does this mean to either feel like you have an active shooter that may come into your school that you have to prepare for any more than walking home from school and wondering if your light up sneakers are going to have somebody feel like you can be spotted more easily as I have found in different uh, of my narratives and research and in, in just pure playgrounds. It's very very stressful and can really affect one's mental health and besides, children and adults need a strong sense of safety, a strong sense of at least we're doing something about this, that we can move forward as a community of people in wanting to solve a problem to increase well-being. So we hope to accomplish several things with our research. Our main goal is to decrease levels of all sorts of gun violence related incidents, including su suicides, non-fatal injuries, um, and interpersonal violence. Um, one of our main goals is to link data sets between different spheres within the gun violence research uh, area, including criminal justice, education, housing, wellness, and health. So we don't have really very good data, and there are pretty big data gaps in the number of non-fatal injuries that happen every year. We have a pretty good idea of how many people are shot and die, because we have pretty good record keeping for death records. But administrative data is notoriously sort of poor at capturing non-fatal injury because it ultimately depends on hospital billing data, which sometimes can be incomplete. Several state agencies collect data around gun violence, but they all collect their own picture. The criminal justice system knows a lot about the person who shot the gun, and the health system knows a lot about the people that got shot. But combining that, we can get a real full picture about exactly what happened and create better data systems that states can use to address gun violence in their communities. Our research is for multiple groups. We are interested in providing information about gun violence to other academics, but most importantly, we're translating research from the academy to policymakers, to people running programs, and people in communities. We have a diverse set of communities throughout New Jersey who are concerned about different dimensions of gun violence. We want to hear from them about their concerns and we want to help them better understand what we can do to fix it. Well, involving the community in our research is, is actually pivotal. Our philosophy is that you can't teach without learning and you can't learn without teaching. And involving the community is uh, pivotal to the success of the center and to understanding the phenomenon of gun violence to a deeper degree. Given that the frequency of gun violence incidents, especially the high profile incidents, does not seem to be abating anytime soon, the work that we are doing is going to be responsive to local, community, national concerns, um, and very current. Primarily we want to decrease incidents of gun violence, including suicides, non-fatal injuries, and interpersonal violence to make New Jersey a safer place to live.